we all know that the internet is blazing. They're talking about Judge Mathis and his divorce. Some people say that he should get his wife back. There are some that say, hey, you should have did right the first time and you wouldn't have lost her. I tend to not talk about things that I don't have knowledge on. I have knowledge on divorce because I've been married before. So I'm going to tell you my opinion and my thoughts in just a second. Stay Ladies and gentlemen, turn the volume up on your radio, your cell phone, your tablet, or whatever device you're using. Tell them kids to sit their ass down and shut the hell up. Cause grown folks are about to start talking. Welcome to another episode of Table Talk with Jay Gray. Let's go. Judge Mathis is going through what seems to be a horrible divorce for him. I don't know what his wife is feeling or what she's going through. But when I looked at TMZ the other day, and that man called Greg in that airport, the hurt that was all over Greg's face. I'm going to call him by his first name. Because Greg, me, you need to get on a first name basis. We need to become friends. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've been where you yeah, I know what you're talking about. The hurt that was on that man's face in that airport, I felt it. I saw it. I saw a man who looked back and started to realize that all of the things that he was putting first really should never have been put first. He should have put his wife first. All those times she was telling him, hey, put me first. I don't feel like I'm a priority. You do this and you go there. And I heard him telling the TMZ show, you know, hanging out with his friends and just not prioritizing his life in the right way causing him to lose his marriage or possibly lose his marriage. Who knows? He may get a back. But I'm going to tell you something. It's going to take some work because once a woman has gotten to a point that she is sick and tired of dealing with the bull, it ain't nothing you can do about it. I don't care how much you cry. I don't care how much you feel bad. That once she say she done and she really done, oh, she can hurt you. Mm. Have you on your knees, crying, calling somebody, needing therapy, calling your pastor, and you ain't talking to him and God knows how long. You calling your pastor. A woman can do that to you. And I like the fact that Judge Mathis realized that he made a mistake. I wish he had realized it earlier, but he didn't. But that's okay. I respect the fact that he realized it and he came to an understanding. And I hope that he takes the right measures and do what he needs to do and put in the work. Because Judge, Greg, you got some work you got to do, Greg. It ain't going to be easy. Let me tell you something. I've been there, done that 15 years. And I ain't the only man, but I am one of the few men who can acknowledge and say that I was the problem. I was the reason why my marriage failed. It had nothing to do with my, my ex-wife. And this is no disrespect to nobody. This is me being transparent. This is who I am. Had a wonderful wife, but I was a Greg Mathis. Everything else was more important than me being home, prioritizing my life, realizing what was important. And oh my God, I'm telling you, if, if, the, if she divorced him, I hope he ready for what he has to go through. He need to, you need to prepare yourself, Greg, because it's going to be some stuff that you're going to have to go through if that divorce becomes final. You gonna have to, I'm telling you, Greg, 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 get prepared. That thing called karma gonna come back. You gonna start to see yourself. You starting to see yourself now, but you gonna really start to see yourself. After I got a divorce, it, it seemed like everything just went from, it just went to shit. Even though it looked like it was good. I was still being punished because every relationship that I got in after my marriage 
did not work. And they were they were bad relationships. They were they just relationships that that just I don't know what. I, I'm just that's all I'm gonna say. I God took me through a series of relationships that allowed me to see myself. Karma hit me. Everything that I everything that I put up through, I went through. See, sometimes you got to lose some stuff in order to realize that the thing that you put first really shouldn't have been put first. They weren't that important. Sometimes we put ourselves in certain situations and, and we put ourselves in, 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 in these predicaments and we have to go through what we go through. But God makes no mistakes. I learned so much. Oh, I learned so much from what I've done in the past. I thank God because he gave me a second chance. But the only reason I got that second chance is because I acknowledged that I was the problem. That there were some things about me that needed to change. So Greg, there are some things about you that you need to change. And until, and, and until you change those things, it's going to seem like nothing is going right. And if a lot of men can just acknowledge that, hey, it's me. It's a lot of y'all got some good women out there. And all she wants you to do is be loyal to it. But you can't do that. Because you're too busy ripping and running the streets. Want to sleep with this one, be with this. It ain't even worth it, man. At the end of the day, your family means more than anything. This woman that I got, we're not even married yet. But I love her to death. She has gotten the best of me. Do you hear me? There is nothing in this world that I won't do for her. But I had to go through a whole lot of stuff in order to become this man. And I think a lot of men are afraid of change because they don't they feel like they, they become weak when you when they love their woman in a certain way. That ain't weakness. If you got a good woman at home, you better love her the way she need to be loved. Greg should have loved his wife the way she needed to be loved. I hope you get a second chance. I really do. I hope you get a second chance in, in, in whichever way it goes with his wife. Uh, a high up. I hope you get a second chance at love and, and, and realize the importance of being a new person and seeing a new you and a better version of you. I am so proud of the version that I am right now. I'm telling you, graduating college, doing, I'm just, and it was all because I changed my mind. If you change your mind, you will change everything that's going on in your life i'm telling you just change your mind great i'm telling you can get your wife back i'm gonna pray for you i'm praying that you get your wife back i'm, I'm gonna pray that but i want you to know that it's god's will so whatever happens happens you just need to be prepared but i'm on your side i'm praying for you i felt your pain my man so hey great let me tell you what you need to do. You need to get pick up your phone. Text everybody that you hang out with. I don't care who it is. I don't care. I don't care who you got to text. You call, text, whatever you tell them. Listen. For the next 365 days, I ain't talking to y'all. I don't want to have nothing to do with y'all. I love you to death. I don't want to talk to y'all. For the next 365 days. And the way I'm going to make sure that y'all don't call me is I'm going to block each and every last one of y'all. Do not take it personal. Do, don't take it personal. I'm, I got to block y'all. And then what you do is you, you, get your, you get your board. Get your easel. Just like the LBI be doing when they trying to figure out, you know, when they trying to catch people, get you a board. At the top, you need to say, strategy to get my wife back. And then you better start developing. And for the next 365 days, you need to, if you love her that much, you'll wait. I'm telling you, you'll wait 360. If you love her that much, like you love her, like you say you love her. You'll wait as long as it takes, my brother. So, 
Go on, get that's I, I just helped you out. You got I gave you a little bit. Brody, my dog ringing the door, Bill. He gotta use the bathroom right now, so he wanna go out. We got him trained like that. He ring the bell, we let him out. I gotta go let him out. Greed, text them folks, tell them you ain't even talk to him no more. And call your wife, tell her you putting a strategy together and you start working on it. If you need me, you call me and I'll help you out, okay? I got to go. All right, peace. This episode of Table Talk with Jay the Great is sponsored by High Key Excellence. Go to highkeyexcellence.com, grab you one, roll the top, tells you the temperature, highkeyexcellence.com. You've been listening to Table Talk with Jay the Great, the podcast that takes you on a journey through engaging conversations and unfiltered perspectives. Thank you for joining us as we explore the world, one conversation at a time. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Jay the Gray and at Table Talk with Jay the Gray. Peace. You've been listening to Table Talk with Jay the Great, the podcast that takes you on a journey through engaging conversations and unfiltered perspectives. Thank you for joining us as we explore the world, one conversation at a time. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Jay the Great and at Table Talk with Jay the Great. Peace.